thank you so much for joining me as promised i'm gonna show you guys my favorite designer discoveries of 2021 let's jump right into this list the first fragrance that i want to talk to you guys about is a beautiful scent i freaking fell in love with this fragrance it's from the house of jean paul gartier and it's from the classique line and this one is called pin up i fell in love with this fragrance it is just so beautiful of course not a lot of people talk about this scent it's not as popular as the original classique fragrance which is an absolute classic on its own now what i absolutely love about this flanker is that they kept the same dna of the original classic fragrance so we do have that here this one just comes off a little bit more i don't know flashy it comes off a little bit more playful a little bit more flirty while the original seems a little bit more mature and a little bit more serious so i would say that this is probably gonna appeal to the younger crowd now like i said the original dna is still here so you still get that soapy orange blossom you get that beautiful ginger we have that balmy vanilla in the base so we still have the original notes in here what they added here that i think was so genius is marshmallow so you have a beautiful marshmallow note in here it smells so good just like the original this isn't the type of fragrance i would just wear anywhere it's a kind of fragrance you want to wear when you're getting pretty dressed up maybe you go into a party a dinner a date something like that it just screams flashy the longevity and this yaj in this one is just amazing it doesn't wear off what i also love about this fragrance is that it smells a better the longer you have it on it's just a beautiful scent if you like sweet fragrances with a little bit of clean laundry a little bit of ginger a little bit of balmy vanilla you'll definitely like this fragrance this one is a love for me and it is so signature worthy this is the kind of fragrance that you want to be known for it's so beautiful this is classique pinup and it's from the house of jean paul gautier love this fragrance the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is a beautiful fragrance i freaking mm, i love this fragrance it's from the house of narciso rodriguez and this one is called fleur musk this is the eau de toilette floral guys i freaking love this scent i love this scent uh it's a peppery rosy musky woodsy scent it sounds simple but this fragrance is just so well executed you would not believe it i freaking adore this scent let me walk you through this fragrance a little bit so when you just spray this on it's a little all over the place i'm not the biggest fan of the opening but it really doesn't last that long so it does take a little minute to get itself together but once it dries on the skin it becomes the most beautiful peppery rosy woodsy musky scent it just smells so freaking good i love this scent it's a little classy it's a little classic smelling it just smells so beautiful it's kind of hard to tell what note is dominating this fragrance because everything is just so well blended everything just comes together but you could still smell everything you get that beautiful rose and it smells like a pink rose in my opinion it's pretty musky so it does have that signature narciso musk and of course you have that pepper you have to like pepper in order to at least be able to get through the top notes of this fragrance once it dries down i'm telling you this dry down right here is just so bomb it's so pretty it's just so feminine the kind of fragrance that you get complimented on it smells so beautiful what i absolutely love about this fragrance is that it is super versatile you could wear this fragrance any time of day anywhere it it will literally fit any occasion 
Oh, I actually discovered this one on a temp that worked in an office that I worked at. I smelt it on her and I was like, listen, me and you, we don't know each other, but we gonna know each other because I'm gonna ask you what the hell you're wearing. And she told me that it was this and I was like, it was just circling in the air and I was like, what the hell is that smell? I was like, it smells amazing. Once I discovered it was her that was smelling like that, I was like, uh, -uh she gotta tell me what she's wearing. It's soft, but it definitely has presence. I've gotten so many compliments on this one it just has that about it it's just it's such a pretty scent this is a fleur musk or a toilette floral and it's from the house of narciso rodriguez i absolutely adore this scent the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is from the house of mark jacobs this fragrance is just so beautiful and i apologize if i use that word a lot but these fragrances made this list because they are just they're amazing they're just beautiful and this one is no exception this is daisy love days oh my god guys i freaking love this scent i almost did not take the chance on this fragrance because i actually don't like the original daisy love fragrance i kind of feel as though it's you know a little bit generic it's like okay you get what you get you get what you expect from that fragrance but this one is just a little bit more complex i really really like this one this is a sweet peachy ambery scent that may sound pretty simple but there's just something that is just so addictive about this scent and i it's just hard for me to put my finger on it the peachy note here is just so pretty it almost smells like peach reduced in honey that's the kind of sweetness that i'm getting here now there's a tea note here that i was just not expecting it gives the fragrance a slightly herbal feel what that tea note does is that it gives a little bit of cleanliness to this fragrance it kind of picks it up i think you could wear this fragrance any time of year because of how sweet it is i do prefer to wear it when it's a little bit cooler outside but i could absolutely see me rocking this when it gets a little bit warmer outside it's that kind of fragrance very playful very flirty seems like the kind of fragrance the younger crowd would definitely gravitate to the performance is above average you could get at least eight or nine hours or more out of the scent depending on how much you spray a lot of times fruity fragrances don't perform well but because of that deepness from the amber this one is quite the exception and i love that this is daisy love days and it's from the house of mark jacobs up next is another fragrance from the house of Narciso Rodriguez and this one is called Narciso Pudre. I love this fragrance. It's one of the newest additions to my collection and this is one of the few fragrances that I did not blind buy. I actually went in store to test this one, completely fell in love with it and just knew that I had to add it to my collection. It's just so beautiful. It's unique. I don't have anything else in my collection that smells quite like this. And I think a lot of people who have this fragrance would kind of agree. There's not a lot of fragrances on the market that really smells like this one. For those of you guys who don't know, Poudre actually means powder. And that's exactly what you get with this fragrance. You get a puff of beautiful baby powder and cosmetic powder so i do get both here you also get that signature musk that narciso is known for and of course you get that sweetness now the sweetness that you get here is a little bit like marshmallow it's just a beautiful cloud-like comfy puffy type fragrance it's just so beautiful i do think this fragrance could easily become too much so i would advise you to spray lightly when you're spraying this one and to spray lower on the body i just think it smells better when you get little whiffs here and there this is narciso pudre and it's from the house of narciso where do we get the next fragrance that i want to share with you guys is a simple masterpiece this is just a beautiful scent it is just so perfect it's perfect for me okay it's from the house of Oscar de la Renta, and this one is called Bella Blanca. Oh my God. 
I adore this scent. It is just so beautiful. Let me know if you own this fragrance and let me know what you think about it. I think it is just beautiful. It's dominated by pear white floral. We have a beautiful soapy musk and the most beautiful subtle woods. After the pear passes, the beautiful white flowers kind of step to the front. Then the clean white soapy musk just starts to mingle in with the white flowers. You get the most beautiful soft woods that comes in to join the party and it just leaves you smelling immaculate. It just leaves you smelling so clean and fresh and pure. The longevity on this one is amazing. Like this literally lasts me all day. When I wear this one, I don't have to refresh it. You just get these beautiful whiffs here and there. It's so feminine. It's just so pretty. I really like this one. This is Bella Blanca and it's from the house of Oscar De La Renta. Up next is a fragrance that I've been eyeing for such a long time. It's from the house of Philosophy and this one is called Pure Grace. Oh my God, another fragrance that I completely love. You have to be into clean, fresh, soapy fragrances. This one is dominated by a soapy musk along with lavender. So that's basically what I get here. It will just leave you smelling so clean, so fresh. It will definitely make you smell as though you're wearing clothes that's like freshly laundered. That's the kind of vibe I get from this one. It's very watery, it's fresh, it's clean, it's pure, it's sheer. Oh, I really like this one. It does have a very minimalistic feel and even though it's quite simple fresh easy going it does have a touch of a mature scent i for one love fragrances that pull a little bit mature you know when i'm in the mood for that so yeah that's what i get from this fragrance clean fresh laundry type scent great lasting power I love this one. Make sure when you're getting this one though, you get the EDP because I made the mistake, got the EDT and let me tell you, it's not the same. Okay. The EDT to me is like, why? Okay. So definitely get the EDP if you're going to get this one. Next is another fragrance that I added to my collection that I never thought I would add to my collection is from the house of Mugler and this one is called Alien. So this is of course a popular scent. A lot of people know this fragrance. I had no idea that I would have liked this one. Just looking at the nose and the scent profile of this fragrance, I shouldn't like this one, but this is just something special and I'm just so happy to have this one in my fragrance collection. What I get from this one is a grapey jasmine scent. I also get a bit of soapiness, like it's not even a bit of soapiness, it's like a huge ball of soap that I'm getting from this one and I'm also getting a sort of animalic musk from here. That's basically what I get from this one. It is very powerful. This is the kind of fragrance that you'd wear if you want to demand and command attention you walk in the room and everybody will know that you entered the room it's that kind of fragrance not an everyday type scent definitely something you pull out when you're trying to be fancy when you're trying to get noticed that's what you get from this one definitely a wintry type scent can't imagine pulling off the edp when it's super cold maybe i'll get the edt and maybe i'll wear that one when it gets a little bit warmer but yeah for now i'm enjoying this one and this is absolutely one of the best fragrances that I added to my fragrance collection in 2021. The last fragrance that I want to share with you guys should have been on my cheapies list that I did before this video, but hey, I'm gonna add it to this list. It's from the house of Versace, and this one is called Crystal Noir, and this is the Eau de Toilette. This is another fragrance that I'm really, really happy to add to my fragrance collection. It just smells so good. What I also love about this fragrance is that there's just nothing that I've ever experienced that smells like this one. This is basically a warm, spicy sandalwood scent that's surrounded by clean florals, a little bit of creaminess that comes off smelling like coconut. It's just so beautiful. I just love how they manage to combine the warm and spicy notes with the soapy notes with the florals, with the creaminess that comes up smelling like coconut. Uh, it's intoxicating. This is Crystal Noir by Versace and this is the EDT. Okay guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. 
don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed this video also if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and also comment down below and let me know what fragrances you added to your collection that you are completely in love with and that i should try okay guys i'd really appreciate it okay guys so that's it for me bye